July 24th, 2018. Well, I haven't been in this section of the farm in a while with a camera, so I thought I would get in here. Uh, just a quick update, basically. Um, I had some help a few weeks back. Uh, Monica came in here and uh, weeded about half of this bed, and I weeded the other half of the bed. And so we got the weeds pretty well under control. Obviously, it's been a couple weeks. I've got to come back through and do some spot weeding. And I really need to be shipping some mulch in here, but just haven't had the time. Um, so, uh, a woodchuck has been getting in here, and or a rabbit, or maybe both, uh, and eating off the broccoli on me consistently over and over. I keep patching holes and finding more problems with that. So, I think what I'm going to do here is, in the fall, if uh, I have the budget for it, I'm going to put up uh, some six foot high chicken wire fence and then we'll probably do maybe one or two rungs of wire above that and uh, I'm gonna really seal this area off well and I'm gonna go ahead and import a bunch of goat manure and mulch and leaves and compost and just really try to build the fertility of this area up this is some really really nice soil in here uh, as far as like workability um, and you can see it's got a pretty good crumb structure to it it is actually really nice stuff to work with but it does need some fertility work and it doesn't have the best soil organic matter and so it dries out pretty quickly so it needs a little bit of mulch it needs a little bit of love and care i think i'm going to do that uh, this fall in conjunction with setting up good fencing and then uh, i can crank out uh, cabbage and broccoli and some of those really nice uh, brassica type crops that are otherwise eaten by the animals uh, anyway, I don't want to get all sidetracked. I did just want to come in and uh, show you that these yellow wax beans are starting to take off really nice. Um, these were hurting early on from uh, the dry spell we had and a little bit of lack of fertility. <coughs> I came through and gave them uh, a foliar drench and an injection feed uh, last week, I think, or the week before, and uh, they've really blown up since then. I probably will come back through here and give a light foliar feed of Accelerate now that they're setting flowers to help support uh, better flower and fruit production. Um, so anyway, I'm excited about those. Uh, I did get back in here and do some of the weeding that I needed to do around the onions and the basil. Uh, these basil are taken off. Uh, this is a lemon basil here. It's very tasty. Um, and then uh, up here is a sweet Thai basil. This is my favorite, favorite basil for pesto. If you've never had uh, sweet Thai pesto, oh, you gotta try it. It is incredible. The sweet Thai has a little bit of an anise flavor to it, like a licorice -y kind of flavor, but it's not so strong that it's overpowering. It, it just adds a really cool uh, component to it. Hmm. Yeah, looks like somebody keeps coming through. Hmm. So, anyway, um, onions are starting to take off pretty good now, too, especially since they had the drench in the foliar. Excited to see that. Those are just a uh, fresh red onion. And, um, anyway, I just thought I would share this part of the farm because I uh, never get in here with a video camera. So, that's that. Thanks for watching the Pharmacy Seeds Network.